All right, Jeremy. So how can home care agencies increase their SEO? Yeah. So that is a very loaded question, right? Um, because there's tons of ways to do it. Um, but I'll go over some of the ways that, you know, home care agency owners themselves could try to help. This question comes up a lot. So I'm glad that you asked it, but I want to, I want to answer a little bit different than I'll answer the question. Sometimes we, we hear, how do I do this? It's kind of like, how do I run my own accounting firm and do my own taxes and do my own books, right? That is a multifaceted answer. And so how can home care agencies help? Well, the best way is really hire an expert, right? And I'm not trying to toot my home. You don't have to use me, but I am letting you know that there's daily things that we face on a daily basis that break and then we have to fix to get results, right? So it's an ever changing thing. But if a home care wants to see movement on something that they can do, I highly recommend they get reviews on their Google business profile. And when a business is doing this method, this strategy to rank higher with SEO, okay, you want to send the person to Google and then search for your name. Don't send them a link in an email that goes directly. Now you can, in some cases, do that if you really feel like the person is not going to find you, right? But I tell people, have them search for your business name, right? And you can even give them a screenshot or a reference of what your business is so they don't get that mixed up with another business. And in most cases, there's not a lot of businesses in your local area. In the home care space, there's a lot of angel loving cares with smiles, okay? Um, I get that. But in most cases, in a local area, there's not that many angel loving cares with smiles, right? Um, so at the end of the day, I tell them, have them search on business for your business name because that sends a signal to Google that a real human being is searching their brand out. And that helps with something called CTR, click-through rate. And so that's a signal that Google's looking for. There's a person looking for this company, and then they're, you're actually going to that company, interacting with their business profile, and then leaving a review. And that helps with SEO as well. So Google reviews is one thing, and there, again, there's multiple things, but I would probably say that is one of the most powerful things that a business owner can do themselves, is to get biz Google business reviews. I love that, and that is so important. I always stress getting Google reviews, but you totally just shared something that I had never heard before, having them search you. So I love that. I love learning something new. So one thing that's come up for uh, when I'm talking with some of my clients is, should you get caregivers to post Google reviews? That is a great question. We actually were talking about that in our office. Um, to you know, give some of our clients some training because we tell our clients, you know, obviously we do SEO for our clients and we tell them go get reviews. It's going to help the process. Let's put it this way: SEO experts out there that's going to say you should not do that, right? And I disagree. What I believe that you should do is, if you have employees that are 1099s, a hundred percent go get them. Now, if you like to do things, you know, completely black and white, or you know what I mean. It is against Google's policy to have employees, right? But a 1099, according to the state and the government, is not an employee, okay? So if they're 1099, go get them. Legally, in the state, they're not an employee. But according to Google's policy, they don't want employees to leave reviews, right? Does that still happen? Absolutely, we see it all the time. I would just say that's really gonna be up to the home care agency owner how they wanna proceed down there. I'm not out there promoting that, so, so to speak, like on my YouTube channel and stuff, go get, right? There's a lot of companies that do, and those reviews stay up. I will also say this, I've never seen a Google business profile removed or suspended for getting employee reviews. Now, that is one of the things that these, you know, SEO experts go and say, oh, well, don't do that because, you know, you're going to get suspended. I've never, and I've been doing this for 21 years, I've seen business profiles suspended, but never for that reason. What I have seen is reviews removed or filtered out. Now, not even for this reason, though, not even for employees. And the reason why that I've seen filtered reviews, uh, like, and I guess this is another question, right, that you might want, you know, people might be curious. I went and I got... 20 reviews, but it's only showing 10. Where's those other 10 reviews, right? Well, Google's filtering those out. A friend of mine left a, a review for one of my businesses, and he said, I left a review for you, uh, and I said, well, I can't see it. And he said, 
well, it's there. I said, well, you know what's probably happening? It's filtering it out. And so I went and I looked at it and what Google will do is if the review text is overly uh, negative or overly positive, they will filter out the review. The person who leaves the review can see it on their end, but it won't be published publicly, right? And so let me give you an example. In this case with my friend, he said on there, I have zero complaints. So the word complaints was the one that Google was looking at to filter out. He removed that. The second he removed the word complaints, the review went live, right? So if you're having reviews that are not showing, it could be that a couple different things, they might be using a keyword that Google thinks that you, maybe you're trying to keyword stuff. Uh, they might be saying something overly negative. Also, uh, you know, uh, certain characters, right? So whenever an explanation point is added to a review text at the end of something to put emphasis on it, I have also seen that um, it will also get filtered out. So just a normal reviewer that's just saying something like, hey, I had a good experience, great people, great product, great service, whatever, right? Uh, without being overly positive should go live. But if you're putting explanation points, if you're uh, putting words that's like complaints, I couldn't, I have no complaints, right? Was what he said. And it filtered it out. We moved that, went live right there. So having the, the customer maybe tweaking it, it can go live. Excellent. Awesome. Amazing. So many good key points, incredible knowledge uh, happening here. If you would like to learn more about optimizing your home care agency website on Google using SEO to get at the top of the search engine so you can get, you know, clients picking up the phone, calling you, caregivers picking up the phone and calling you, or if you'd like to get some automation built out so you can have some automated processes, automatically follow up with caregivers, follow up with clients that helps you close more deals without lifting a finger. Go ahead and go to our website, growhomecaremarketing.com. Again, that's growhomecaremarketing.com.